Once upon a time, there was an orchestra, which was all busy tuning up. First, the oboe gave her A to the strings, to the woodwinds, and to the brass. Up and around the scales, they raced helter-skelter, faster and faster. All but Tubby the tuba. A round little tuba, puffing away, but oh so slow. What lovely music, thought Tubby, and sighed. Here, what's the matter, said Peewee to Piccolo. Oh, said Tubby, every time we do a new piece, you all get such pretty melodies to play, and I never, never a pretty melody. But people never write pretty melodies for tubas. It just isn't done. Oh, there's the conductor. Shh. First, the violins danced the lovely little tune on their strings. Then they cried to the flute, catch. Got it, cried the flute. My turn, tooted the trumpet. And the rest joined in. The cellos. The oboe. The bassoon. While Tubby went Catch me, cried the little tune. Catch me. Got you, cried Tubby. Oh, you're sitting on me. Poor Tubby picked up the flat little tune and tried to squeeze it back into shape. You clumsy fool, snapped the violins. I'm sorry, Mr. Fiddle, said Tubby. Fiddle? Well, and the violins quivered with great indignation. You will please address us as violins, fiddles indeed. Tubby, said the conductor, just what is the matter? Please, sir, I thought it would be so nice to dance with the pretty little tune instead of going Dance, laughed the violins. Dance, well, really. The French horn quietly put his hand to his mouth, and the whole orchestra began to laugh. Stop it, cried the conductor. Stop it, I say. Tubby. Please, sir, I wasn't laughing. rehearsal was over. Tubby was walking home with Pee-wee the Piccolo. Please, Pee-wee, said Tubby. 
I just feel so bad. I don't think I want any company. I understand, said Pee Wee. Good night. The moon was out. Tubby went to the river and sat on a log, and he looked at himself in the water. Alone am I, me and I together. If I went away from me, how unhappy I would be, me and I, oh my. Suddenly, a big bullfrog jumped out of the water and sat on a log beside him. <laughs> Lovely evening, bug up, bug up. I said, lovely evening, clunk, 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 clunk. I said, beautiful evening. Hello, bug up, hello, bug up. Hello. But Tubby just sat. Oh well, said the frog, oh well, if I'm not wanted. Oh, cried Tubby, please, Mr. Frog, uh, uh, come back, I didn't mean to be impolite. Back hopped the frog. Oh, that's all right, I'm used to it. No one pays any attention to me either. Really, said Tubby? Why, of course. Every night I sit here and sing my heart out. But does anyone listen to me? No. Can you sing, said Tubby? Can I sing? Listen. Is lovely, said Tubby. You try it, said the frog. Thank you, said Tubby. Say, you're a very fine tuba. Do you know it? You should try that on your orchestra sometime. Oh, I will, said Tubby. Goodbye, Mr. Frog. And off went Tubby, as happy as happy could be. Hmm, said the frog. Most appreciative audience I've ever had. Fine musician, that tuba. Bug up, bug up. Good night. The next day, the orchestra was busy tuning up for the rehearsal. And buzzing with excitement over the arrival of the great new conductor, Signora Boschetti. Here she comes, called the French horns. Here she comes, Signora Boschetti. Right, begin. And Tubby began to play his own little melody. Oh, that wretched tuba, snapped the violins. He'll disgrace us. The trombone stuck out his tongue. And the trumpets snickered. Tubby, said Signora Boschetti, Tubby, I've never heard a tuba play a melody before. Let's hear the rest of it. Oh, 
said Tubby. <laughs> Why, how perfectly wonderful, said the strings. Please, Tubby, may we sing your tune too? How about me, said the xylophone. And me, said the trombone. May I, said the celeste. Here I come, called Pee Wee. Haven't we, Tubby? It was the bullfrog sitting right next to him. We have our points too, don't we? Oh, thought Tubby, how happy I am. <laughs>